Good morning, everybody. What a time to be alive. Today is Sunday, March 9th, uh, March 15th, excuse me. And it is uh, a little after five in the morning. I would ordinarily be, you know, very, very excited about this day because it's my first spring striper trip on the kayak. I had a pretty good spring, caught a couple nice muskies, caught one giant bass, caught my first snakehead a week ago. But everything is kind of under this, under this cloud right now of the coronavirus. And I live in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania, which of course is the epicenter. So there's a chance this could be my only spring striper trip. Headed to New Jersey, my buddy Mike, and we are going to social distance ourselves on the water, trolling and jigging for some striped bass. Out here on the route today, first striper trip of the spring. Very windy, very fishy, there's gannets, there's bunker, and then this happens. We've got to drive. Um, and when you spin the pedals, the prop nut spins, but not the prop. I don't have a spare pin with me. I think it's in my truck, which is two miles that way. So thankfully the wind, thankfully the wind is blowing me in the right direction. I'm gonna get back that way, hopefully get a new pin. Maybe launch in a different place, more sheltered from this wind. But yeah, very unfortunate. First, uh, first old town catastrophic failure. And at a very, very bad time. Out in the middle of the bay on a day when it's pretty rough. Very shitty. All right, well after this morning's adversity and our gear failure. We've got some fish finally in eight feet of water. Just caught my first one. Try and jig one here. I'm using the five inch Eli shed. Oh yeah. Mic's on. We're in a pretty nice school here. I'm just gonna try burning it in because that's what we're doing when we're trolling. There's fish all around me. Catching them on the troll is cool, but I really like to catch them on the jig. There's so many here that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But it is. All right, let's go back to the troll. Oh, oh Donnie's got the devil. Too greedy, too greedy. Oh, bunker. Disease nasty bunker. And really what we're doing is just fishing a flat. Not really too much of a secret where this flat is. And, uh, just looking for the warmest water possible. It's, all of a sudden there's 10 kayaks here though. Drew a crowd. Oh, a double header. This one's not quite as big. Still a great time. Light tackle. All fish so far on the Elias shed. Little guy. Heck you. There's one. Not a 
going by. Somewhere in here, there's a few nicer fish though. Just gotta find them. Ow. <laughs> Side scan just makes it too easy. You can just see that there's a million fish 50 feet to my right. Drop a cast right in there. Shake it a couple times. <laughs> Donnie. Oh, it's another double header. <laughs> That one ate it right in front of my boat. Dang. Alright. A little nicer one. Broken lines. Ow. Oh, we gotta be able to jig one now. Oh, there we go. I got one on the jig. Got one on the jig. Eat it right, right off the bow. Ooh. Another nice little schooly size guy. My shed. Lasted several fish, but it looks like it may have met its may have met its maker. Time to go with a freshie, and we'll try the uh, darker color. This guy. See what we can do with him. And uh, we almost didn't come up here. We saw a couple kayaks up here, and we were getting depressed over the news of the day. You know, the latest Corona terror. And uh, I'm sure glad we came because I already caught about ten fish. I'm about to catch ten more, and that's much better than sitting at home. I was just gonna say, I think I lost him. Just like that. Yeah, they're real thick here, we might be able to jig one. Oh yeah. Nice little skinny one. Let's see if we can jig one out of this pile here. Fish are all around me now. Every side. That's real quick. Just try the bigger one. We're gonna put some alewife juice all up in that body cavity. Oh, hey. And we're gonna cast him up there. We're gonna slow roll this puppy back to us. So many fish. Like slaying them. Oh, remember the bunker I just touched. Oh, that was a bass bite. Come on. Here they come. Tide scan, picking up marks. 
on both sides. I got set to 80 feet right now. Which is a line of fish going all the way across. Oh, well, that was a bite. This one felt a little better initially. It's staying down. Oh yeah. A little nicer, a little nicer. My shad doing work. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a nice little stripe. See him off to my right pretty good. Oh, there they go on the jig. That's the magic of side scan right there. And you can just look out 80 feet to the right and be like, oh yeah, there's a school of bass on bunker. And I'm just gonna cast to them and catch them. Troll until we get back on him again. I'm sure, they're probably close. Oh, nice bite there. There's a lot right here. I just missed a couple. What's that? Nicer fish. Better head shakes. Better straight pulling power. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. Nicer. Hmm. Hooked in a really weird way. Oh, and there he goes. Self-release. I appreciate that. Oh, missed him. There he is. And this is the truly light tackle setup. It's a sustain 4000 on a 7 foot St. Croix Avid medium. Medium heavy, this is a medium heavy. There she is. Come on over here. Decent. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh man. What the hell? Damn, dude. I got a serious, serious fish here. Oh yeah, nice one, dude. Nice one on the jig. This might be bigger than that other one. Uh, maybe. Come here. Oh yeah, he choked the Goliath shed. Let's take a look at him. Nice. Purpley, beautiful spring striper. Oh, yeah. There he is. <laughs> Getting him on the slow roll jigs. 
and drain it on the bottom. Oh, thank you. I'm going to give this rod a break. Get out the third setup that I really haven't used today. That is a Shimano Calcutta D, 200D, on a seven foot medium heavy Shimano Terramar. And this setup is pretty much universally amazing. I'm gonna go back to slinging this uh, much larger Elias Shad, put some extra alley wife scent in that belly. And troll him around for a minute. See what that does to the bass. See if we can trigger a bigger fish or two here. Enjoy some anti-coronavirus citrus. You gotta keep your immune system strong. Good way to do that. Exercise via fish catching. And eating clementines while fish catching. He hit it hard. He wasn't up for that seven inch shad though. There we go, that one was. Oh. Took a little drag there. Oh. Yeah. Pulling me a little here. He pulled us right on to the big school of fish. It's a nicer one. I you know, really don't want to catch anything smaller than this. So. It's exactly what you hope for. They're smacking it. It's gotta be the smaller fish. Oh, they are really small. Like that's three fish I would have caught. Oh, that was a nicer one. Didn't stay hooked. That one I got though. That's the shot right there. This setup just, you know, I've caught 50 pound red drum and 40 pound black drum, all kinds of stuff on this setup. These stripers don't stand much of a chance here. Okay. We've, uh, we've been out for a long time. We launched at seven o'clock. It's almost three now. Our first launch was at seven o'clock. We relaunched at about 11 o'clock. After I paddled two miles to shore, after a uh, shear pin failure in the Predator PDL drive. So it's been a day. We're probably a couple miles from our Launch right now, even. Oh, yeah. How are you catching them right now? There they are. I was gonna say, I'm seeing them. Like, I can see them. 
They're just not biting all of a sudden. There he is. Got very windy. We're gonna call it a day. Call it a success. There are a million gannets up ahead, but I don't think we're gonna get to check those out. We're gonna just get back to our trucks and end this crazy day.